topic. May pag-uusapan tayo today tungkol sa... Saan? Buto-buto. Buto-buto. Yes. Na, nawala sa isip ko kasi sarap ng pagkain. <laughs> so what are the, ano ba, ano bang mga food na pwedeng kainin to prevent osteoporosis? So, well, when Meron you talk ba, about osteoporosis, kasi you talk about the strength of your bones, uh, diba? So you're talking about bones, eh, food that's rich in calcium. Thank you, Chef. Milk. So, milk, no? So, Dairy uh, products. Dairy products. So, kung, di ka na, kung lactose intolerant ka naman, fish, like, um, bangus, that's also very rich in calcium. Um, alugbati is also rich in calcium. Oh. Um, dilis, alugbati yeah, is ano rin siya. So, um, it's good to get about, um, for a regular person like us, 700 milligrams of, uh, eh, sorry, uh, 700 milligrams of calcium daily, ang recommended daily allow allowance. Pero sa mga, ano, medyo in the advanced age group, or when they are osteoporotic, as in they are already um, diagnosed to have uh, uh, osteoporosis. Those who are growing, growing mm -hmm. children, pregnant women, mm -hmm. and those who are breastfeeding, their calcium requirements would increase, increase. to double. So it's 1,200 milligrams of calcium daily. So just to give you an idea, a glass of milk is about 300 to 400 milligrams of calcium. So but the question is, is in, in milk or medicine, when you not kung sinabi 400 mg hindi lahat na absorb to oh, oh. so yung absorption mo ngayon ang question is how do you absorb your calcium oh, that's where vitamin D comes in yung question ko do D for dog for example no. how many sabi anong requirement mo sa calcium for somebody my age 700 700 so in a, 700 ang net na kailangan mm -hmm. na sa loob so how many do i need to drink oh, i mean God, sa medicine really? para makuha yung 700 yeah. yung isang um, calcium tablet Ay, 600 milligrams. Tapos, yung mga waste nun, sabi mo, 10%. Sabihin natin ganun. So, kung ano, gusto mo, tablet. you take one so, tablet, one plus make sure your your diet is adequate. Mm. Wag, wag naman two. two. Okay. Usually, we I give two only for patients who are osteoporotic already because you might have calcium okay. stones too. So, oh. you take in a lot of water when you have a high calcium diet. But this is assuming na your diet has calcium in it. Pero mm -hmm. assume mo na... Tao, kung hindi kumakain ng gulay, mga one, gano'n. One tablet na lang one talaga. Tablet. Kasi ka mahirap. Kumakain ko lang. Kasi, di ba, there's a certain Kinama. age. Kasi like, kain pa rin. No? Pag, pag bata ka, mm -hmm. hanggang certain age, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, pagka huminom ka ng mga yung calcium mm -hmm. vitamins, meron deposits na nangyayari. Yeah, Pero but when you reach a certain age, yung medyo adult ka na, effective pa rin yung calcium pero wala so, nang deposits na nangyari. Yes. So right? the calcium deposition is up to Basically, when you're 35. Yeah. So the strong, your bones are actually strongest when mm. you're 35. And you try to, to maintain yeah, that by it. taking it ad, taking adequate calcium so that your bones hindi kinukuna ng calcium ng katawan. Going back to the absorption, so vitamin D mm -mm. helps siya yung parang vehicle from your D. D, D for D. dog. So Ang kailangan mo naman dyan is 800 international units a day. So, adequate uh, vitamin D would be already uh, 15 minutes sunlight exposure before 8 o'clock. So, expose mo lang yung face and your palms. That should be enough to activate your vitamin D in your skin because it's naturally occurring. And then, that will absorb the calcium that you take in. However, there are people na hindi masyadong na, ah, what, tayo, 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 hindi tayo na arawan. Paglabas natin, ano natin, no clock na, so hindi na healthy yung sun. So you can take vitamin D supplementation. That's why there's calcium with vitamin D preparation. Tell us where we need to take yung mga bone density tests, diba? How often do we need uh, to take those tests? And then at what age can you start taking those tests? So for the bone density test, well, you can technically start it at any age. But mm -hmm. if you look at the, that at 35, that's when your bones are strongest. You don't routinely ask at 35. But let's say I have a patient with risk factors. So let's say surgical menopause, meaning na tanggalan na siya ng matres, siya ka mm -hmm. ng ovario, ng maaga, um, breastfeeding, pregnancies, steroid intake, mm -hmm. smoking, high caffeine steroid. intake, um, his family history of fracture, family history of osteoporosis. Lahat yan, the, these what, are risk factors. What kind factors. of steroids are you talking about? Smoking Red pala medicine. also contributes. Yeah. Uh, ano? yeah. How about yung mga androgenic steroids? Yes. So, so, yung mga yan, wait, 
para I'll finish Rina's question. So that you'll... Sorry, ah. Hindi, kasi hindi ko masasagot yung question. Kasi important yung screening, eh. Kasi osteoporosis yeah. is a preventable disease. So all these, pag ang patient ka may risk factors, then you can start screening anytime. And if it's normal, you can monitor it every two years. Mm -hmm. But if it's abnormal, then consider starting medication and then monitor once a year. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to wait until you're 60 to start. You can start if you as want. If you have 20s. any of those risk factors, yes. then you can start early. But then I wouldn't suggest it at 30s. I would suggest it at the 40s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that for women lang or for same same for women? And for for men? men, kasi they have primary, mas later sila. Okay. Ayan, yes. Doc Pebs, kasi yung question ko, yung mga may scolio tsaka yung mga nagsislouch, yung nitend ng slouch, mm -hmm. mas, like ako, di ba, lagi ako nagsis, oo, oh, oh, mas malaki yung chance nila na magkaroon ng osteoporosis when they get older. No, it has no relation. Mm -hmm. Although, although if a patient has scoliosis, their bone density test is skewed. Mm -hmm. it, you can't re see 100% reliability on that test because mm -hmm. For the central bone density test, you use the spine and the hips. Mm -hmm. So if your spine is skewed like that, yeah. then when they check for the density, it will not be the same as a patient who has a straight spine. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, that's why they look at several areas so that if one is not so reliable, you can look at the other areas like mm -hmm. the hips. Um, these are weight-bearing bones of our body, so they're the more reliable ones compared to the forearm. So, yun yung isang tinetesting lang. Dok, ang isang question ka about yung calcium nga. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi, ang dami kasing, well, I've consulted a lot of doctors, sabi nila at a certain age daw, uh, you no longer store the calcium, but yes. you... Yes, that's what yeah. No, kaya nga, at, uh, ang... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Relax. <laughs> okay, go. Hindi na, wala tuloy ako. <laughs> But, so, uh, ano yung, ano yung, kunyari, for somebody na buong buhay niya, hindi siya nag, uh, very low ang calcium intake mm -hmm. niya. Ano yung worst pwede mangyari sa kanya well, later on? Well, yung kahabuli na lang niya later on with a lot of supplement. Is it, is it different as, as uh, opposed to somebody all his life nag ano sa calcium, pagdating ng dulo, konti na lang siya sa calcium. Is there a difference? If, let's say, you don't take in calcium as at, at a young yeah. age, yeah. Well, I suppose you you have less calcium stores, diba? So when your body needs your calcium, and then it's like an ATM, you just withdraw. Let's say you're already, let's say, menopausal or yeah. you don't have... So you can just take in as... Or you can... Your body uh, needs calcium. It takes it from the bones. Siyempre, kung mas marami kang stores, di mas marami ka rin... Parang kung, kung mas malaki ha? yung leeway mo, no? Oh. But I would... Nagulat ako. <laughs> ano yung phone in question? Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that if you don't have calcium, you'll be osteoporotic. Okay. Kasi, and, yeah. With that, kasi, Doc, uh, I was diba, lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. So most of my milks either yung they were eating in the canin or non-GMO soy, which we all know naman mababa mm -hmm. ang calcium, mm -hmm. more on protein. And there are a bone problems. Yun. So it's different causes or it could be related? It could be related. Well, could be related, but... Iba yung kasi yung problema natin. Wala ka pang X-ray, naalala ko. <laughs> anyway, yeah, going back to the topic, baka makalimutan mo. <laughs> so, well, it could be contributory, pero I wouldn't say that's the It wouldn't thing. naman. I mean, what was that? Ano? Um, the Leo was gonna ask, aside from... Yung bad posture. Posture also has nothing to do with the density. Exercise is a very good way to prevent osteoporosis mm. because you're regularly putting weight on your bones. What are the telltale signs that you're already suffering from, from an osteoporosis. osteoporosis? Let's say you have a routine x-ray. You'll see that the bones of that person has very thin cortices. And um, the, the density of the bone is actually quite um, pale. Oh. So, pag I would already ask for a routine bone density test. And then sometimes during history, you ask, but like osteoporosis is not a painful disease. It's not. Fatal. It's only, well, potentially fatal if you get a fracture. It's only painful when you fracture. So but when you fracture your hip, you, said, you fracture you your back. X-ray, di ba? You need an X-ray. Mm -hmm. No, like a patient would come to me because... It's a routine X-ray. Yeah, let's say they say, um, I have knee pain. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll do an X-ray of the knee, and then I look at the knee X-ray. Of course, I'm looking for degenerative changes, but I also look at the quality of bone, and then I also look at the age of the patient, and then I start asking already the risk factors, and then that's when I ask for. Pero mga somebody na mga pasaway na hindi ayon magpa X-ray. What would prompt them to have an X-ray done to see I if they have? I talk to them about prevention of osteoporosis. I ask about their risk factors. If they do have one, then I strongly suggest. Eh, kung ayaw nila, you get them on force. Nakakatulong ba ang mga supplements like Ostegard, Go Gala, Wow? Hindi na natin sponsorin. Okay, go. Hindi na natin sponsorin. Oh, nakakatulong ba? Any supplement for that matter? Also, Guard Gogalawa was actually for the joints. Okay. So I not not directly for osteoporosis. Okay. Pero can you say na pang matatanda lang tung osteoporosis? Oh, may mga certain cases na may mga bata. Early cases, early onset. So these are metabolic. When mga may thyroid problems. When you say bone density test, para at least alam ng ati mga kasabay, what is that? So, para siyang X-ray. It's an X-ray. So it looks. So it has radiation. So if you have a bone density test and it's an X-ray, ideally you have it two weeks apart because they're both radiation. So they take an X-ray of your bones, specifically that of your spine and both your hips. It depends on the hospital where you're gonna have it done. Some would have would also add the forearm or the wrist. Some would add the calcaneus or the heel. So they would look at that, and then ang score na hinahanap natin yung T score of May negative range. one and above. Mm -hmm. Anything that's your score like that, then the, you're normal. But anything that's less than below, one, negative, ay, one. negative below, one, negative so negative one, two, and that's osteoporotic or osteopenic. And then. Um, It's basically compare the density. Let's say Kong is 45. We compare Kong's bones. Age, age, bayon. Yeah. Excuse me. Age. Excuse, Excuse me. Pwede na yun. Get my side. Plus minus naman yun. Ang dami na action. Plus minus. Let's assume, no? He, he, Kong. Looking 45. Let's, okay. as, let's okay. assume he's 45. Let's assume lang, ha? Okay. Disclaimer lang po. Okay. And then, So he did his bone density test, and then two scores will come out: it the T score and the Z score. The T score is that he com we compare mm -hmm. or the machine compares Kong's bones with that of a 35-year-old, a young adult. Not me. Don't look at me. Young adult, like that. <laughs> I'm not 35. <laughs> <laughs> so a young adult. Um, in contrast to the Z score. Wherein they compare his bone density with the people his age. So usually, age. yes, the actual age. So if you look at those two scores, the Z scores usually look better mm -hmm. than your T scores. But you use the T scores to determine whether or not we have to start treatment because the ideal bone is that of a young adult. Mm -hmm. Last question, na doc. Ito ba ay uh, treatable or management? Yes, na? it is treatable. treatable. May surgery okay. pa kung kailangan, di ba? Ay, treatable ang osteoporosis with regards to. Um, uh, progression. Babalik yung bone density, uh -oh. ba? So, unti-unti, pero matagal eh, kasi this is a very long process. And now, our education, or at least our awareness, is increasing. So, we get to see them at an early age, mm -hmm. but or at an early stage, mm -hmm. rather. But if you get them very, let's say, negative five na, medyo ang hirap ipataas. Hindi, wala, wala bang feeler na pwedeng ipasok doon? So, yung surgical intervention okay. for osteoporotic fractures, So for the spine, we put bone cement, and then for the hip, we have to fix the fracture. Sometimes we have to augment with bone cement. Ayon do. Kapag pa merong kami ng mga gusto ng kakilala, magpa-assess or kami gusto naman pa-assess yung mga bones namin. Saan kaba namin na hanapin? Dito. Dito lang. Dito. Pa iba pa lang. Dito. Paano ka nila makakonta? Dito na lang. Dito na lang. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Pell. Thank you, Juan.